I've read Acts, the second chapter. Good God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Praise God. I'm going to keep it too long. I want to just, amen, hit it and quit it. Acts, Acts. Come on now. You notice I started with Ephesians 5, 18. Praise God. Be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Now you get ready to see this same word that was in 5, 18 located over here in Acts 2 and 4. What? Come on now. What does he say? And they were all filled. Right, right. Uh-oh. All feet. All means what? Everybody. Not some. Not a little here, not a little there. The Bible says, Latoya, they were all feet. It is God's mandate that every Christian be filled with what? The Holy Ghost. Good God Almighty. I don't care who somebody might have fooled you and tricked you and say, no, that was for the apostles. In Jesus' day, the devil is a liar. Good God Almighty. If it was good enough for Jesus, and my God, and the early apostles and the early church, it's good for us right now. Do I have a witness? Glory to God. I can say they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with what? What? Come on, son. With other tongues. That word tongues in the Greek means in other languages, glory to God, in other languages, as the, he keep, keep on here, as the Spirit, as the Holy Ghost, as the power of God gave them utterance. Did nobody force them to speak in tongues? Did nobody make them? Did nobody can he still coerce them? Did nobody play no games? My God, he, even the Bible said, they spoke as the Spirit gave utterance. That word, my God, that translation in the Greek gave utterance means as the Spirit enabled them. Glory to God. See, when your heart is ready, when your mind is ready, it don't take God a long time to do a new work. It don't take God a long time to come in and feel you like he did the apostles and the early church. Good God Almighty. The Bible says that they were all filled. And what the Lord is telling me to tell you, that it's time in 2016 for those that's standing around the pool. For the good God Almighty. You remember, you remember Jesus showed up at the pool of Bethesda and the man had been there for how long? 38 years. Jesus arrives on the scene and said, my God, man, sir, understand, I have seen your condition. I have seen your, I have seen, good God, I have seen how everything is going. I have seen that you've been sick. I see your condition. You can't do nothing for yourself. Good God am I here. But what I like about Jesus, when you examine the text, he asks him a question. He said, do you want to be made whole? Do you want what I have to offer? Do you want what I can give you? Do you want what I can do? Glory to God. Instead of him saying, Jesus, I've been waiting all this time. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. No, the devil got in his mind and began to say, amen, I don't have no person to put me in the pool. Ain't that like some of us? I don't have the Holy Ghost because, because I don't understand the whole Bible. I don't have the Holy Ghost because I'm not faithful. God said, but what? Forget about the excuses. I got to God. He said, I understand your condition. You can't do it on your own. God said, when I show up, like I showed up on a man in the pool of the vessel, I want you to greet me with some faith and some readiness. Jesus, in other words, is to go. Jesus expected him to say, Lord Jesus, put me in the pool because it's my hour, it's my time. But the enemy says, ain't nobody able, ain't nobody able, ain't nobody been able to put me. Every time I try to get in there, somebody get in my way. But let me tell you, the Holy Ghost, Jesus told me to tell you, amen, that can't nobody stop you from receiving the Spirit except you. I got a book called my son. Do you believe me? Can't nobody stop you from experiencing the baptism of the Holy Ghost but you. It takes a made up mind. In other words, a made up mind says, I'm willing to do what Peter told him. Acts 2 and 37. 
Peter, what did he say? He said, Peter, what should we do? My God, my day was pricked in their hearts. We gave them a simple but yet powerful answer. He said, repent. I got a more caution. You gotta repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The remission for forgiveness of your sins. And what's gonna happen? You're gonna receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You're gonna receive hallelujah the fullness when you repent in your heart and your mind. I'll come in and do what you can't do. Look at Jesus and the man at the pool. Good God, when Jesus got through dealing with it, good God, I'm like, what did he do? He finally made him, he made him whole. But Jesus had to deal with the issue. So we got issues that's blocking us from being made whole. We got issues that's stopping us 